welcome back into the channel. We really appreciate you guys being here. We're going to continue our short player series that we got going on here. Today, we're going to be talking about one Elijah Moore. I think it's one of Adam and I's favorite receivers in the entire NFL. I don't think that's a question at all. But first, hit that like and subscribe button right there. Boom. Click the button. Make sure you're subscribed to our content. It helps us out so much. So, Adam. Elijah Moore, let me just dive right into it here. Right now, he's going at wide receiver 23, 64th overall player on keep trade cut. And surprisingly, and this one hurts my soul so damn much, because I hate when keep trade cuts higher than consensus on players that I also like, because I feel like I'm doing something dirty. But over at Adico, he's going at wide receiver 29, so six spots later, and at 710, Adam. 710 in ADP. Ooh, baby, what are we doing here? What do you think about that value for him, right? Keep trade cut is bullish on a guy we like for once. And I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I'm scared shitless. Man, it, it, this is, it's a summer sale. You, you better get it before games start being played. Um, it, it's funny, Mike, because in this, when, when you look at it in the spring, he was being drafted, pushing to the fifth round. He was in the sixth, right? And getting close to the fifth round. The Elijah Moore breakout talk, which, in my opinion, is all still valid talk. Like, everything that we know about his rookie season that we're excited about, Zach Wilson taking another step forward, all that's correct. They draft Garrett Wilson, Mike, and he is losing he, – he's, he's hemorrhaging value constantly. And Horribly. Mike, he, he's pushing right now to the point where he could fall out of the seventh – um before games be are played right like in august at the trend rate like he may fall out of the seventh or he's already back seventh it's already getting crazy like i think the other thing to think about too is they they had a bunch of picks like they drafted some really young talented players uh we i feel like it's with him it's not even being discussed with maybe breeze hall is helps rush the ball and this offense takes a step forward completely elijah moore is being forgotten about and kind of just said he's the you know second piece, the whatever, as in the passing game, maybe even third or fourth. And, Mike, I think what's crazy is w when they start playing games, I don't, I don't see him being this value at all anymore. No. No, I think he's going to far exceed this. So some of the things I looked at for Elijah Moore that I pulled for him, uh, number nine in the NFL, number nine in route win rate. So he's winning his routes when he's out there. Now, granted, he only played in 11 games, but there's number 15 versus man. The man can beat man coverage. Like, similar to why we like Devontae Smith, man. You, you lock up Elijah Moore or Devontae Smith one-on-one, -on -one, good fucking night. <laughs> it's you're over. Gonna have, you're going you're gonna to have a long day on an island with just those two guys, man. Rookie year, playing with the Jets. Zach Wilson didn't have a great year, right? The Jets as a team weren't that great. Still number 28 in points per game in his rookie year. Very, very impressive for it. And if he would have played all 17 games his pace, 119 targets, 66 catches, 831 yards, and eight touchdowns. Count them. Eight. Eight. That's eight, right? I'm a big dummy, but shh, no one cares. But that's the pace for Elijah Moore. I think that's highly impressive for a guy coming out in his rookie year on an offense that wasn't very good. Uh, rookie quarterback. New head coach, new coaching staff, new offensive system. Not the greatest offensive line, missing some pieces. Uh, yeah, and really not much of a running game to speak of, right? Ty Johnson, Michael Carter had his moments, but now you get Brees Hall in there. I love it, man. This offense could be, I'm not going to say like upper echelon good, but not in the dumpster anymore. And for a receiver that we like or projecting, and you're getting a great value right now, I love it for Elijah Moore, baby. Yeah, I, I do too. Two things which struck me interesting, Mike. Um, th th there's a lot with Elijah Moore um, that really is exciting for me. Uh, but this being a shorter player series, we're gonna I'm gonna touch on a couple of them for me that stand out. One, Mike, I'll, I'll say this: people listen to PFF. There is some stuff from them that I don't really care for. Some of the stuff I do like to see, but they grade um, rookie receivers and players in general on a lot of different things. So they graded the rookies of last year's receiving class, which, as we know, there was a lot of good receivers in that class. Um, the wide receiver won Jamar Chase. 
highest graded rookie wide receivers on intermediate routes last season. Number one, Mike, was Elijah Moore, 92.5. Oh, shit. Ahead of Jamar Chase, Elijah Moore. And third is another guy that we're somewhat excited about, not as much as Elijah Moore, Amon Ross St. Brown at 90.8. Those are the three guys over 90. So if you think about that, where he wins a lot of these intermediate routes, that to me is something that like Garrett Wilson coming over does not mean that he can't win routes in the intermediate area anymore. Like, I don't know why this narrative is, it, it, it boggles my mind. Like then I, this one is crazy to me. If you think that one was wild, let me give you this one. Wide receivers since 2008 that had more than 1.75 yard, yards per route run, 6.5 targets per game, and at least 12.5 yards per reception. This list is exciting. Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Justin Jefferson, Amari Cooper, Mike Evans, Keenan Allen, Julio Jones, C.D. Lamb, Terry McLaurin, Odell Beckham Jr., A.J. Green, Deshaun Jackson, Kelvin Benjamin, and Elijah Moore. Ooh. All Pretty hits. good company. All hits. Listen, Kelvin Benjamin could have been something, too, if he just stayed away from the cheeseburgers. Now I get it, Kelvin. It's no shot at you, man. Uh, I love the cheeseburgers, too. I'm just saying. And He would yeah. have kept his weight down. Kelvin Benjamin was playing really well. He was playing and, and really well as a rookie year. And he could have kept 100%. it up. hundred percent. Just had a and he, shape. He flamed out later, right? But if you go back, if, if you can think about it, his rookie year, I mean, Cam targeted him a ton, and he was somebody that people were excited about because of his For usage sure. with Cam Newton. He just ate himself out of the league, like you said. That's very true. Some people just don't have the work ethic. I'm one of them when it comes to uh, physically working out. I understand. Uh, yep. It's just not for everybody. It just <laughs> especially not, not for me. I guess, the, I guess the only difference is, you know, not everyone gets first-round draft capital and has a chance to make millions and millions of dollars playing football. I'd like to think I'd have a little bit motivation to uh, not be a fat sack of shit if that was the case. <laughs> it was like, Mike, if I gave you a million dollars next year, could you not eat cheeseburgers? I'd be like, I think I can get by without cheeseburgers. You know, salad's I'll... looking pretty good. I'll eat something else. A million bucks, I'll eat something else, right? Yeah, I think I'll, I'll figure it out. But, all right, so we went over all the points on why we like Elijah Moore. We tried to keep it short, but let me look at him from a value standpoint. Things or players I would take Elijah Moore over. So, first off, any 24 first. Man, you, we can't project like, oh, this 24 first is going to be early, right? I would say in two years, if it's Travion Henderson, you'd probably want Travion Henderson out there. But a lot of shit's going to happen right now, so... 24 first are mostly just randoms. Give me the 24, or give me Elijah Moore over the 24 first. Jameson Williams, Chris Olave, guys from this class, easily. I would take Elijah Moore over. I get a little bit more bold. This is where me and Adam differ, but I think they're in the exact same tier. I will take Elijah Moore one spot before I will take Garrett Wilson. I understand if it's the other way, though, completely reasonable. Uh, contender wise, I know we love Mike Evans as a contender. I'm just thinking how deep the wide receiver position is, and I'm thinking my long-term dynasty outlook. I will take Elijah Moore over Mike Evans, and then I will come back and pivot and try to backfill some Mike Evans production on my contender team. Rebuilder to smash. Any 23 mid to late first straight up for Elijah Moore, I will take Elijah Moore. How about some yep. other guys in that range? Hollywood, Godwin, Judy, A.J. Dillon, and... Ezekiel Elliott, all getting drafted before Elijah Moore on ADP. Give me Elijah Moore over all those guys. Adam, what do you think about that value-wise? Anybody you disagree on? No. Um, Garrett Wilson, to me, Mike, is like I, – I, it's splitting hairs. Um, I, if you're not contending, I think you, you want to go with Garrett Wilson over Elijah Moore, fine. You want to go Elijah Moore over him, fine. Um, if you're contending – I would suggest definitely taking Elijah Moore over Garrett Wilson, even though I do like the prospects of Garrett Wilson. Typically, the rookie wide receiver takes a little longer to develop. They're not all Jamar, J Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, these guys. A lot of the rookie receivers take longer to become a surefire thing in your lineup. So I'll make that pivot. I'll say this, too. I think what's so exciting about him is there's so many good ways to acquire him, whether that's all the players that you just mentioned and one of the things I would love to do, Mike, is if I'm in some of this, in a best ball especially, tearing down from some of these elite guys, you can get Elijah Moore and another stud receiver in that like sixth, seventh, eighth range. You could get, you know, Elijah Moore in a first. Um, there's a lot of different ways to acquire Elijah Moore. Ultimately, 
he's being slept on across. He's one of the most slept on receivers, I feel like, at this point in the summer. So do yourself a favor. Explore it. You don't have to go make a trade if you're not super bullish on it, but just see what kind of value you can get. And you might be surprised that the value is so much in your favor that you're going to take the Elijah Moore side of a deal. Love it. If you like what you got here and you want more from us, patreon.com forward slash South Harmon. Come tap in and see what we got going on. That's going to do it for us. Another player short in the books. Go out and get you some Elijah Moore. Peace.